What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be chatting about how to set GTK themes in Hyperland. Now, first things first, we are going to be doing sudo pacman dash capital S N W G dash look. This will give you the program that you need. It's a GUI tool, so you don't have to do anything weird and funky, thankfully. Once that's installed, we just go search GTK in whatever menu or thing that you have installed. This is hyper menu. And as you can see, now this allows you to set ugly norm the Nord themes, no offense, or normal dark themes. Uh, it also allows you to set your icon themes, your mouse cursor, changing your font, whatever else is here. So button images, menu images, enable event sounds, input feedback. And of course, to be able to clear all this out to start again, and then you just hit apply and that's pretty much just it. And now uh, this has been changed to the Nord theme. I don't understand the Nord theme. I never have. It's just, yeah, it's, it's really weird and it doesn't really like itself very much. I don't think, let me just go change that back to something that's actually good. Thank you. Ugh. No, thank you. All right. So that should help you uh, a lot with changing things up. And we'll also be covering QT apps here pretty soon, probably in the next video. And I'll be, you know, releasing these bit by bit by bit by bit. And I'm not ready yet to do like a full how to do this, like the whole Hyperlin thing yet, uh, because I started with an install script that did everything for me. You guys can do that too. I've already covered N4, I've already covered uh, ML4W, so start from wherever you want to start and hope for the best, and then you can do whatever you want. It just, it's something that's really kind of hard to get into. Like, this took me 15 hours, maybe a little bit more to pull off, just to let you know. Uh, and as I am very, very picky, yeah, it, uh, it ended up taking quite a bit of time until I got it to the point where I'm happy. So that's a thing. And I'm still not happy because when I click here, it's supposed to automatically go to that workspace, but it doesn't and only works on one monitor. So I have to figure that out. I like it. Again, it's still better than KDE. It's still better than GNOME in ways that you get to customize how you want and you don't have the same type of bugs or issues. But again, there's upsides and downsides. So yeah, I'm gonna help as much as I can with uh, making Things that may seem difficult a lot easier. Bye guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. You know, uh, if you want to help support me in any way, feel free to check the description. I'll see you guys next time.